year 1550 BC, the inscription left by one of the Hittite kings who ruled in Anatolia in those years mentioned a city named Uru Adania. This was 3,556 years ago. In a second Hittite inscription dating back some 250 years after the first one, the king Anuwanga I mentioned a river flowing in front of a city and a bridge across the river while he told how he defeated a city named Adana. With its world's oldest yet still used bridge, Adana is the oldest city in the world whose name and location have never changed and where people still continue living. The bridge, according to the memoirs of King Arnwanda I, is about 3,500 years old, and according to the bridge inscription of the Roman architect Oxyentios, presently in the Adan Archaeological Museum, is 2,000 years old. Imagine a city stretching along the shores of a lake whose water mixes with the smell of mountain flowers. In the middle flows a river with the fragrance of orange blossoms. The river and the lake surrounded by lush green land and groves. People doing sports in their waters, strolling along their shores and spending weekend time while resting on rafts. There are few cities in the world offering such opportunities to its inhabitants. The secret of Adana still remaining as an important city in the world for so many a year lies in its natural beauty, which derives from the Taurus Mountains in the north to the Mediterranean Sea in the south. Adana has a 160 kilometer shore along the Mediterranean. Snow falling onto the Taurus Mountains forms the source of the rivers Sehan and Jehan. These rivers carry the fragrant smell of flowers and abundance into the heart of the Chukrova Plain, in the center of which stretches the beautiful city of Adana. During their journey into Chukrova, the rivers at different locations take some splendid waterfall shapes. Kapusbashi waterfall on the Sehan River in the Taurus Mountains is the highest waterfall in the world. Obruk in Sayinbele, Simit in Alada, and Yirköpü in Karaisala all transform their surrounding into a paradise. Places where waters of these rivers meet the Mediterranean are like open-air birds' museums. Over 250 species of birds during their thousands mile journeys from Africa to Europe rest in the four lagoons in these areas. Is Adana a paradise for only birds? Not really. More than 60% of the nests of the thousands of green sea turtles in the Mediterranean basin are located on the coasts of Adana. Caretta caretta, lapopine and cedar trees are among some of the rare creatures and plants in the area. Adana with its surroundings is known as a paradise for many rare creatures, plants and flowers in the Taurus Mountains. So it is quite normal that people, just like other creatures, have always wanted to inhabit this land, which at different times was called Kizowatna, Kielikia, and Chukurova. The result is a land of diversity of ethnic groups, cultures, and civilizations. The wealth of these civilizations is apparent in the ten archaic cities in 40 castles and the four archaic bridges one of which being the oldest yet still used in the world. Anavarsa, until the 14th century, was one of the most important archaic cities in the world. We can see the splendor of the city and its monumental gate and the imperial road decorated with columns on both of its sides. It is here 
where the famous physician Dioscorides, Hippocrates was a pioneer in modern medical sciences. The lively pictures in Hippocrates' books of five volumes, all translated into seven languages, illustrate the local herbs and plants used by the medics of those times. Author of the oldest medicine and pharmacy books was born. His masterpieces would reach even our present time. A story tells that sage Lokman, the famous legendary medic in the Islamic world, owed his reputation a potion of immortality to local plants of Chukru. One of the Asclepians considered that the first hospital and medical school was believed to have been founded by Hippocrates in Ayas, the antique city of Yumurtalik. The world's first organ transplant was done in Ayas. Here, the arm of a black man was transferred to a white man. It is documented that traveler Marco Polo visited the antique city of Ayas twice, and that shows the city's historic richness. Well observable in the Lemon Castle, Island Castle, and the Suleiman Town. The Magorsos and Malus antique cities, believed to be founded by Mopsos, a local hero of Chukrova, who was also mentioned in Homeris' Iliada, are still under the ground in Karatash, awaiting excavation. Among the most important remains of the cities, we can see the amphitheater in Karatash and the antique bridge in Agdirman village. The Misses Bridge is another important monument in the antique city of Misses. This bridge, 1500 years old, is still being used as the stone bridge in Adana. Other two monuments in this little town are an archaic mill and the remains of a caravansaray. Other important remains are mosaics kept in the Mrs. Mosaic Museum depicting the animals on Noah's Ark. People on this land built castles on almost every hill they found to protect themselves. The castles form a chain from the Mediterranean Sea to the Shar Antique site in the Taurus Mountains. Among these, the most important and well-known are the Suleiman Tower, Giverolo Castle, Snake Castle, Tumlu Castle, Anavarsa Castle, Kozan Castle, Fekia Castle, and Saim Bita Castle. Besides being a home for important battles, this land also played an important part in world peace in that the world's first written peace treaty, Kadesh, was after all signed here. The city was first governed by the Hittites, then the Romans, Byzantines, and then by the Turks. One could still see some magnificent buildings belonging to these periods. Among these buildings, a church was built as a monumental tomb for a Roman senator, and Alakapa is a gate of magnificent temple. The splendor of this temple lies in the beauty of its gate. An amphitheater, a Byzantine church, and stone tombs are signs telling us about the size of the city. Adana is mentioned in Hittite inscriptions dating from 1550 BC as a legendary city one can see the traces of 36 centuries in Tebaba, the oldest known settlement in the city. Historical houses with bay windows and courtyards are a reflection of the past to the present. The oldest still surviving of these houses is the 600-year-old Ramazan Olu mansion. Yawu Sultan Selim, a sultan of the Ottoman Empire, lodged in this mansion twice on his cruise to and from Egypt. Amazon Ollara is a family of high reputation. They ruled Adana for a period. The Kulia complex of Ramazan Olu, which also houses Ramazan Olu mansion, was built by this family. The Great Mosque is the most important construction of this complex. The construction of this mosque began in 1511.